think, I think we should go with gratitude in our hearts for people that are willing, for the Covey family to willing to put the work in and we should just support them and um, make sure that they have the funds that they need to keep this going because, um, you know, it works. It sounds like it's really working and thank you, Covey family. All of you, that's great. Thank you. So my name is Kaylee Kohler. Um, I have been so incredibly blessed to be a part of this program. So I'd like to thank you so much. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I remember the first time that I came to Friday Love Hope. I was with my mom and we pulled up in the car and saw this beautiful, beautiful property. Um, I remember the second I pulled up just the feeling that I got, it's just, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, little did I know that this would eventually become my safe place, um, and I was able to find comfort here, and this ended up being like my go-to um, whenever I needed it, and it was always here for me. Um, I would always come here whenever I needed to get out of my head or I needed to get away from the noise of the world um, and when I was struggling with myself. Um, when I had first started this program, it was back in December, um, I had been in a Jeep rollover accident um, just five months before this. Um, I was sitting in the back seat of a Jeep uh, with no seatbelt on and the Jeep ended up rolling several times and then I was ejected at the last minute and um, the Jeep fell on top of me. Um, my injuries, um, you, can, you can see I have a big gnarly scar on my knee. <laughs> um, I tore my ACL, MCL, my PCL. Um, I shattered my pelvis. I crushed, I <laughs> crushed my collarbone in half. Um, there were ligaments that connect your back to your sacrum, or your hips to your sacrum, and it tore them all in half. Um, I had a skull fracture, I lost hearing in my ear, the list goes on. <laughs> um, and so, I just woke up one morning and everything I had was gone. Um, so, um, at this time, it had only been a couple days before I was supposed to go try out for a volleyball. Um, my senior year, um, I have been working so hard, I put so much into this, so to wake up and find out that they weren't even sure if I was going to be able to walk again was, I could hear my heart break. Um, so things that you take for granted every day, like walking, um, waking up in the morning and eating breakfast with your family. Um, waking up to even see your family, um, sleeping in your own bed, like those were things that were so far reached that um, I, that were just taken from me. Um, although this was the most miserable experience I've ever had in my entire life, <laughs> um, it was also an answer to my prayers. Um, before the accident, I had been 
with a group of friends and we didn't make very smart choices and we weren't doing very good things together um, as a group of friends or as individuals. Um, and I had been trying to look for a way out and I felt that I had dug myself so deep that I couldn't find a way out. Um, at least not by myself, anyways. So not everybody's answer to their prayer is laying under a jeep, but <laughs> you can take it or leave it. Um, so, to me, I looked at it as a fresh start um, and a way to start over, and I was given a new life on a silver platter. Maybe not the way that I wanted it, but, <laughs> but it's what I asked for. Um, so after the accident, I had the option to choose one of two paths. Um, I could go back to my old habits and I can go back to everything I used to do before and go with those friends again and I could choose that path. <laughs> or um, I could use this opportunity to my advantage and I could totally re rebuild my life um, and completely start over. Um, I chose to take <laughs> option two. Um, and that was so hard. Um, I wish it was easy. Um, I chose I chose that constant battle of always being reminded of how happy I was before and how much fun I was having and where I'm at now and how easy it would be for me to just have a way out. Um, but I decided to stay strong and stick to it and um, that was where Bright Elf Hope came in. Um, my mom had like the different applications to come into this program. My mom filled one out for me as well. Um, and it was it was the same thing that helped like help my daughter. Um, it wasn't only the fact that I had been dealing with like not being able to walk. I had to lay on my back for three months straight. Um, I couldn't do anything. Um, not only when I was physically healed and able to walk again, my mental health was completely shattered. Um, I had to deal with the repercussions of the accident, but also everything that I had to deal with from before. Um, so when I came into this program, um, I met Amber. I don't know where she is. There you are. <laughs> Amber is my instructor and I love you to death. And um, I can totally say from the bottom of my heart that, that because of Amber and because of these horses and this program, like, it saved my life. And, and when my mom took me here and told me that I'm gonna be riding horses, I kind of laughed to myself. I never thought I was gonna ride a horse in my life. Um, I just, and I didn't really understand it. I went into it with a closed mind. Um, but I will never forget the day that I got on the horse and just all of a sudden had this feeling of like, like I was just happy. Um, and they say, like you said, um, like you're living in the moment and these horses give you, you just leave everything behind and I can't, I can't explain the feeling of getting on a horse, but that is what I would, <laughs> that is what I have been looking for for months and I could not find anywhere else. There's like this sense of adrenaline and like a sense of security and safety um, and a sense of power and control that you have when you're sitting on a horse um, and you get to choose where you want to go. You get to control this 